Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to learn how to translate your web content into multiple languages in Astro. So without wasting more time, let's start our video. This could be us. So back to what I was saying. This could be us. Before moving to the multiple language part, let's see what we have in our Astro project. So here you can see that in the source folder under the pages I have index.astro and in the components I have photo.astro. So we will use both these pages for translating into multiple languages. So now go to your uh, Chrome browser and search for Astro i18. Go to this npm.js. Here you will see the command npmi astro i18 next, copy it and the command in your project. Okay, so it is installed. Now, here in the second part, you will see the configuration. So, now we have to configure the i18 package in our astro config.mjs part. So simply copy this import astro i18 next and paste it to the astro config mjs here. Okay, so first command is in. It's copied and after that uh, in the integration part you will see the astro i18 next. Copy it and paste it over in the integration part. Okay, so our astro.config is configured with i18 package. Now we have to create an astro i18 next config.js. First one was the astro config, which is a default file provided in the astro. But we have to create this for astro i18 next file. So the file should be in the directory where package.json and other mjs files are present. So copy the name as it is, give all over there and after that copy the content. So here you will see the default local is en, en means the English which is a default language and uh, under locals you will see two en and fr. So en is the English and fr means uh, French. So currently we will be implementing the fr language in our project because English is the already given language which is by default and also if you if you want to add different languages then simply add here the notations provided by the different languages you will see in the configuration file so the next step is now you have to create a uh, directory containing the translation.json file which will be present in the public folder so under the public folder create and folder name locals and under this locals create two folders as per the name given first one is the en and second one will be fr so you will see two directories under the locals now create translation.json in both the directories You can cross verify from the tree given over here public under locals and uh, inside locals we have en and fr and under en and fr we have translation.json so the tree should be like this so now we have to start translating our content so for that first of all we will import the i18 and the t in our pages so our first page is the Next.astro. So here we will simply import our i18 package with i18 next and t. And after that, first of all, we will store our English content into the translation.json, which is present in the en directory. So for referencing, go to the website. 
and here you can see that how it is implemented so copy as it is and you yeah, paste it over here so this content is given by default but we will change it so here you can see that html language is en but as this page will become a dynamic page so for that you can go to the website and uh, you can see here the language equals to white in export language so copy it and paste it over here so we have created a dynamic variable lang which will take the language as per requested and now in the main part we have two content hello astro welcome to the official cut this content and paste it over here inside this site hello site so here you can see that i have changed the text into the variable t main dot heading and t main dot body our text will be present in our json file here is the json file of the en which contains english language and i also translated the english language to the french language here we have the json file of the french so both the format will be same only the text translation will be different and at last we will run one command and for that go to the website here you can see that one command generate npeg astro i18 next generate so this command will create different folders under the pages directory and uh, all the folders will depend on the languages which we are using currently we have two languages en and fr so as en is our uh, default language so fr folder will be created which contains the french language here you can see that one we have index.astro which is a default english page and another one is the french page which is index.astro both the pages will be seen similar uh, but the main difference will be here you can see that change language fr and here you can see that change language is en so basically this command will clone all the pages present under this pages folder into different folders as per the languages we have defined so in this manner implementation is done now we'll see our output okay so our website is working perfectly fine here you can see that as our English language is default language so it will be present over here and uh, when you will hit the URL with fr the language will be changed over this so in this manner I have given a brief idea about how you can implement multiple language in our web app thank you watching for this video and don't forget to like share and subscribe our channel and stay tuned for more videos thank you